Welcome back, everyone. It is 924. Wanting to lose weight in the new year? Why not? You don't have to wait till the new year. You can start now. That's why this morning we have Dr. Rob Ziltzer and also Dr. Craig Premack. They are from Scottsdale Weight Loss Center, and they are joining us this morning to talk about how you can take control of packing on those pounds even before you actually do it. So thank you both for being here, first of all. Thanks for having us. Uh, Dr. Zizzler, talk about, you know, there are ways, that there are things you can do now so you don't have to worry about the weight you gain afterwards, especially after we hear that the average person gains about six pounds just during this holiday season. That's right. You know, one of the things to do is to start early. Don't wait until your New Year's resolution because you're actually far less likely to lose weight if you put it off till later. We also recommend that, you know, when it comes to holiday eating, Kind of stick to uh, more kind of leaner and gre greener eating um, and do something called preloading. So you start your meal with a you know, big glass of water, 16 ounces of, of water or non-caloric beverage, uh, as well as maybe a large salad so that going into the meal, you're kind of partly full. Do you suggest doing that even before you go to, like, say, a holiday party? Because a lot of people will be tempted when they're at parties. You should always start and see if you can find out what's going to be at the meal. So plan out what you're going to have before you go in there and then stick to your plan. So start out, don't skip meals as you're going into it. So mm -hmm. have lunch, have breakfast, and then say you're going to have something that's lean and green and then something else that uh, you say is your little bit of a treat. And by having that one treat, you can avoid having all the other treats that we often have. This day and age, we hear about so many different diet plans. And at the Scottsdale Weight Loss Center, you guys really focus on the whole package, both being doctors. You like to oversee things medically, talking about exercise, talking about what you actually eat. But how does that differ from, say, other programs that we may hear about, like Weight, weight Watchers or Jenny Craig? We are medical doctors. And as such, we can do things that are much more aggressive than a commercial plan can do. Our patients typically lose six pounds the first week and then two to seven pounds a week thereafter, uh, we can prescribe appetite suppressants if you are hungry. Um, and most importantly, we can help, because when people lose weight very quickly, we can help them get off their diabetes pills and their blood pressure pills, which is just a, a huge problem when you're losing weight, knowing when to get off of those things. So we monitor them very carefully. And it really does work hand in hand. I mean, a lot of people become diabetic because of what they eat, vice versa. They can, you can, once you do get into shape, a lot of people don't have that problem anymore. With just a little bit of weight loss, a lot of people come off their blood pressure medicines and their diabetes medicines uh, with in the first one to two weeks of, of starting a diet program. Okay. Well, now that we know some of the things we should be doing, what about some of the things we should avoid, especially this time of the year, this holiday season? One of the biggest problems I think people have is they have very high carbohydrate diets, very high mm -hmm. sugar, very high starch diets. And what people don't know is that the more sugar and more carbohydrate you eat, the more hungry you'll be. So it becomes a cycle that's very hard to, to stop. The other thing is that fat is very high in calories. So if you can reduce the amount of fat and have more protein, you'll actually be fuller with fewer calories. And I think that tip of water in between drinks too is also helpful or in between your meals, lots of water. Non-caloric beverages like water, even diet soda is mm -hmm. far better than sugary drinks. Uh, act as a natural appetite suppressant, that's okay. right. All right. Well, thank you both for giving us some insight on how to stay fit and get losing that weight once you get there if you have to. But, of course, the key is not to gain the pounds anyways. But if you'd like to find out more about the Sca uh, Scottsdale Weight Loss Center, they're located at 96th and Shea, and we have more information at azfamily.com. Thank you both for being here this morning. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Still ahead when we come back, we have a check of your morning's top stories and sports. So stay with us. Put a smile on their